Well, it looks like the RTX 40 series is coming in hot, wet, wild, and wacky because the release date might actually be coming sooner than people were originally thinking. Now, we got a lot of new information about the RTX 40 series, and today I'm specifically going to be taking a look at the RTX 4070, the 4080, and the 4090 in terms of their actual reveal dates, as well as when they're going to actually be available. Because, yes, we do have some new information about this, and it all started with a tweet that came from 3dcenter.org where they went ahead and actually posted this chart over on Twitter uh, where they explained when they believe that the RTX 40 series is going to be revealed as well as available. Now below that, eventually Comp87 Kimi, who is a well-known leaker and knows a ton of stuff about NVIDIA, did actually give his thoughts on it, and we'll get there, but let's go ahead and start off with their chart and see what they had to say about it. Now if we go ahead and we take a look at their chart here, starting with the 8102 die, which is going to be housing the RTX 4090, they actually believe that it started its testing phase all the way in April of 2022, and it would have a release date somewhere around July or August of 2022, with the 8103 die, which is going to house the RTX 4080 uh, sometime around late summer of 2022 in the 8104 sometime around September or October of 2022. Now below that they actually made another post where they talked about two different options of what Nvidia could be releasing first the 4080 or 4090 and then the well-known leaker Cop87 Kimi actually brought in some new information by basically confirming that it looks like yes the RTX 4090 is going to be releasing first followed by the RTX 4080 and then the RTX 4070. Now if you don't know in previous videos I did talk about how not only does Cop87 Kimi seem to know a lot of information about all all NVIDIA stuff uh, basically every single time there's a new launch, but this time around he's had a lot of new information and he actually did mention that it looks like the NVIDIA RTX 40 series is likely going to be announced sometime around mid-July. Now I did some digging and it's starting to look like sometime between July 19th and July 24th it is likely that you will see an announcement coming out from NVIDIA. So yeah, we could be talking about as soon as July 19th we could get an announcement of the RTX 4090, 4080, and 4070 release date and I do believe they will be available shortly after they're announced. In fact, if we go ahead and we take a look at my chart that I went ahead and put together here, I did make some updates according to some new information. And if we take a look just simply at the pared down version that I put together here, where it just shows the price, performance, and release date, starting off with the RTX 4090, which is going to be based off of that 8102 die. I am actually expecting this thing to be somewhere between $1.8 and $2,000 in terms of its price, so it's going to be very, very expensive. However, in terms of the performance, I'm expecting at least 85% more performance over the RTX 3090, and it could be even higher. In fact, I've seen some people talking about like two x the amount of performance or even greater which would be absolutely insane but i'm just going to be a little bit more conservative and say 85 percent so it's definitely going to be a high performance card but when is it going to be available well based on all the information that i've been seeing i'm expecting it to be once again revealed sometime around july of 2022 with availability sometime in august of 2022 because according to what cop 87 kimi said it looks like yes the rtx 4090 is going to be launching first now this will be followed up by the rtx 4080 which is going to be based off of the 8103 die which does mean, by the way, it's going to have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which is going to be a pretty decent uplift over the RTX 3080 Ti. And in fact, I do believe a lot of 3080 Ti owners will end up migrating to this card. But in any case, let's go ahead and move on to the price where I do believe it's going to come in at actually around $899. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive than we saw the last time around. However, I do believe you're going to be getting 40% more performance than the RTX 3090. So that's definitely going to be good. Now, again, uh, talking about the reveal date, July 2022 with availability, I do believe this one will be late August 2022 so I don't think you'll have to wait too much longer after the RTX 4090 to get this one however I do believe they are going to try and push as many people as possible to get that 4090 first despite its ludicrous price now moving on to the RTX 4070 this one's gonna be based off of the AD 104 die and this one's gonna come last I do believe it's gonna have a price of somewhere around $680 15% more performance than the RTX 3090 I revealed it once again July 2022 with availability sometime after Actually, I believe in September of 2022. So if you want that 4070, it's probably going to be one of the best price to performance cards of the generation, but you're going to have to wait for it. So there you have it. There's everything that I know in terms of the release date, price, and performance of the RTX 4070 all the way through the RTX 4090. But you know what? Overall, the entire RTX 40 series does seem to be coming out a lot sooner than a lot of people were originally thinking. I know a little ways back, I was thinking possibly September would be a reveal date, but if it does end up being like, say, July 19th of 2022 that we end up getting a reveal date for all three of these GPUs, views that's way ahead of when a lot of people were originally thinking and yeah that's like a month and a half away and it's coming up super super fast so if you're someone who's considering buying an RTX 3080 or 3080 Ti or something like that uh, you might want to reconsider unless the price is really good because when these cards come out these other cards from the RTX 30 series are going to be completely obsolete I mean just taking a look at the RTX 3080 Ti or 3090 if, you, if you're trying to run something like 4k you can do 4k 120 hertz no problem but with something
something like the RTX 4090 or 4090 Ti, we could be talking about 4K 240Hz, which is going to be like the holy grail for PC gamers. I mean, 4K 240Hz in a competitive sense is going to be absolutely incredible because the amount of detail that you'll be able to see as well as the amount of frames is going to give you a really low latency experience at the same time. Yeah, that's just going to be absolutely incredible and a great experience overall. So I cannot wait to see if some cards can eventually do that with the RTX 40 series, especially considering there's going to be some 4K 240Hz displays that are actually going to be available in the not too distant future. But you know what, guys, I got a whole bunch of information about the RTX 40 series that I'm going to be revealing here in the next month and a half, especially concerning cards like the 4070, 4080, and 4090. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so because, yeah, we got a lot of exciting information to go over. I mean, we already talked about uh, some leaked images that came out. So, yeah, th these things are definitely coming out very, very soon. And once again, I got a ton more information to go over in the future. Uh, but, hey, that's everything that I have to say about the 4070 through the 4090 today. And all I'm going to wrap this one up with, guys, is, wow, the 4 series is looking absolutely insane. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think the RTX 40 series is really going to release? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And, of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.